Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, ruler of the universe. Your word brings on the dusk of evening. Your wisdom creates both night and day. You determine the cycles of time, arrange the succession of seasons, and establish the stars in their heavenly courses. Lord of the starry hosts is your name. Living and eternal God, rule over us always. Blessed be the Lord, whose word makes evening fall. Amen. Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now proclaim, his mercy endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. There is a sound of exultation and victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he did not hand me over to death. Open for me the grates of righteousness, I will enter them. I will offer thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. He who is righteous may enter. I will give thanks to you, for you answered me, and have become my salvation. The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. On this day, the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna, Lord, Hosanna. Lord, send us now success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. 
God is the Lord. He has shined upon us. Form a procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will thank you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, by raising Christ your Son, you conquered the power of death and open for us the way to eternal life. Let our celebration this night raise us up and renew our lives by the Spirit who lives within us. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God in his holy temple. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him for his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The women who had come with him from Galilee followed, and they saw the tomb and how his body was laid. Then they returned and prepared spices and ointments. On the Sabbath day, they rested according to the commandment. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you, while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. This is the gospel of the Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, almighty God, for the gift of water. Over water, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through water, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In water, your son, Jesus, received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we celebrate our fellowship in him in faith. We pray that all who have passed through the water of baptism may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. 
Oh man. I will sing to the Lord for his glorious triumph. The horse and the rider he has hurled into the sea. The Lord has become my strength and refuge. The Lord himself has become my savior. He is my God and I will praise him. My father's God and I will exalt him. The Lord himself is a mighty warrior. The Lord, the Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is majestic in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Holy, awesome, worker of wonders. In steadfast love, you led your people. You guided your redeemed with your great strength. You brought them in safety to your holy place and planted them firm on your own mountain. You brought them into your own house. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. To our God belong victory, glory, and power. For right and just are his judgments. Praise our God, all you who serve him, you who fear him, great and small. Let us rejoice and triumph and give him praise. The time has come for the wedding feast of the Lamb. O God, who brought your people out of slavery with a mighty hand, strengthen us to take our stand with you beside the oppressed of the world, that in the victory of Christ every fetter of body, mind, and spirit may be broken, and the whole human family restored to your image may sing your praise in joy, freedom, and peace. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia. May God the Father who raised Christ Jesus from the dead continually show us his loving kindness. Amen. May God the Son, victor over sin and death, Grant us a share in the joy of his resurrection. Amen. May God the Spirit, giver of light and peace, renew our hearts in his love. Amen. May Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit continue to bless us. Amen. Alleluia.